So yeah, welcome to uh part two of uh the Corn Man podcast, baby. Don't go against the grain. Um, so I left off last segment about Mr. D, Mr. Dillard. So Mr. Dillard was cool as cool as uh college guy from D from the from the D, the dirty D. Shout out to Michigan. But um Mr. D used to um he was a funny cat, you feel me? So I remember I ran into Mr. D prior to me having him as a as a teacher. And um I remember uh me, my cousin, and my little sister. We used to uh we used to all get picked up by my pops, you know, after school. So at dismissal time we used to enter the hallways and shit. And I recall uh you know, I was kind of rowdy one day. And uh, Mr. Dillard, not even knowing who he was or knowing that he's, you know, who who, who was saying something to me about being loud. You know, I, I, I believe I, I told I told him I told him off, basically. And I used a few cuss words or maybe just one cuss word. And uh, he's who's uh, who's making all that noise in the hallway. And I said something like. You know, shut the fuck up, or shut the hell up, or whatever. And uh, he said, "Oh, oh, Miss Gray, I want him next year. I want him." So pretty much, uh, sixth grade. Nah, he didn't have me. Uh, or maybe I don't know. I don't know who, who class I was in, but uh, I know I, I had to face him ultimately seventh, eighth grade. And he used to uh. He used to give a lot of good advice to us and stuff. You feel me? I remember my cousin Antonio. This nigga had a girlfriend at the time. And Mr. Dillard told him, he pulled him to the side. He said, you know, when you lay down with dogs, sir, you wake up with fleas. So, uh, so Mr. Dillard, he also, uh, he used to, he used to also um, have us read and shit in class. And me, I was always fond of read. You know, my pops and my moms, they, they ain't play that shit. You feel me? Like, nigga, you gonna know how to spell, you gonna know how to read, you gonna know how to count. Nigga, you gonna you gonna know your history. So, um, pretty much. So Mr. Dillard used to uh call on us to read individually. And then once we're done, we get to choose somebody else to read. So we had this cat in the class. Uh, <laughs> who else? Who, who? Same cat who went to the Sylvan Learning Center. He uh, he he always used to get picked on the read, and I remember Mr. Dillard stopped him, and he said, "Stop! Stop! Stop! This is this is a shame. We can't read. We can't read, sir." And I'm like, "We? No, nigga, he can't read. You know, so." Everybody pretty much targeted the Sylvan guy whenever we had the chance to pick somebody else to read. And, uh, and Mr. Dillard, he um, he was one of those uh, fraternity guys. So he kept one of the paddles, those wooden paddles from, from college, and, and he kept it on his desk. And uh, I believe it was like a parent-teacher conference or, or it was a report card pickup or some shit. And one of our, one of our uh, female classmates, her father was also in the same part of the same uh, alumni as uh, Mr. D. So I believe it was uh, one day we was in class and this particular girl was, uh, you know, she, she had some words with Mr. Dillard or she had an attitude about something. And Mr. Diller was like, uh, well, you said, I know you ain't getting smart. Then he went, to, he went to go get that damn paddle. He said, you seen one of these? Ask your father. He got plenty of these. So you know me. You know I had to run with that shit and uh, kind of add my little spin to it. So whenever I had, I, you know, whenever me and her had a little fallout or whatever, I would flip that shit on her. Ask your father. He got plenty of these. Then I remember, you know, being in the being in the boys' bathroom, right? And um, you know, we was 
we was doing doing a lot of you know wrestling still doing a lot of doing a lot of unsanitary things uh in the bathroom so and, and of course that was our free time so in the boys bathroom we would be back there fighting wrestling rapping joking whatever but i remember at this particular time period one of our classmates was on some straight up gay shit which nobody called him out on it at the time but because he was one of those one of those guys who 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 always was uh down to fight you know and then it nobody really challenged him but uh i remember this nigga one particular day he was going down the line pulling pulling motherfuckers off the stall and shit while they pissing and uh i remember he did the shit with uh with one of the classmates torian torian he was this he was a he you know he, he was one of those one of these country slang one of these uh <laughs> nerdy dudes who brought a lunch bag to school since we was in third grade so i remember i remember uh the other cat uh he used to pull the nigga off the uh stall and uh he's a gay mugs i promise can't even can't even pee man and i remember he did this shit to me nigga went down the line and pulled me off the stall so I remember I turned around and just socked the nigga in the jaw. We started fighting in the boys' bathroom. And uh, ultimately, I bumped my head on something. Probably just probably the urinal or some shit or the wall. And then next thing you know, Mr. Dillard, he come in the bathroom. Because we was in his class at the time. And um, he come around the corner and separate me and the other dude. He say, go, go, go. Cause you know he pretty much thought I was hurt because I had a bump on my head. I'm like, nah, shit. As long as I ain't bleeding, I'm cool. A bump, I could deal with a bump. A bump will go away in a few, about a week or so. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Dillard was always kind of protective and looked out for a nigga whenever he saw things was probably gonna go the wrong way, or you know, if it did already go the wrong way, he would try to figure out how can we figure it, how can we solve this. So. Shout out to Mr. D, man. And uh and he was also encouraging as far as my rap, my rap skills. Unlike Mr. Bassett. You feel me? And Mr. D was also a very sanitary person. He's probably the, the first person I, I ever heard about using sanit hand sanitizer. For some reason that became like his catchphrase in seventh and eighth grade. You feel me? When that was somebody sneeze, ha chew, uh uh, sanitize. The motherfucker sneeze again, ha chew, uh, sanitize. If you, if you, uh, if you brought him a paper and turned it in with all those ridges on the edge from tearing the paper out of a notebook, he'll just drop that shit in your freight, drop that shit on the floor right in front of your face. Ugh, what's that? I don't want that. Take it back, take it back. I remember when some some kids used to used to get kicked out of class, and Mr. Dillard tell them, oh, "Pack your stuff and go." I remember Mr. D had a little crush on my mama. He thought he thought her and my pops was married, so he I don't know if he was trying to test out the waters or, or not, you know, trying to see you know if she was married or not by calling her Miss Miss Alcorn. How you doing, Miss Alcorn? And, and mom said to correct him, "I ain't married," you know. But that don't mean motherfucker she finna get with you. So Mr. Dillard used to talk to Miss Gray. And Miss Gray hollered at my mom's about Mr. D. Got a little crush on her and shit. You feel me? But of course we all know uh what's going on. <laughs> and uh so yeah, Mr. D had a little thing for mom, so therefore I was pretty much favored in in the class and one one punished too severely. I saw mom's other day, sir. That would be Mr. D way of trying to keep you in check, to try to keep you in line. You know, reminding you that your nigga, your, your mama was just up here. No me call her back up here. But with all the jokes and all of the insiders, me and Mr. D, we was cool all throughout the whole thing. You know, I was a little bit, you know, of a teacher's pet that was low key. The, the calls are all the bullshit. So I was 
I was the one that was egging on all my classmates, entertaining them with the jokes when, when we when we outside this nigga presence or when he leave the classroom. But at the same time, I'm in the classroom laughing at they ass for getting punished for 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 laughing and shit, you know. Or 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 doing whatever else they was doing. They had nothing to do with me. You know. So that's one thing they never changed about me. If a nigga did some dumb shit, the motherfuckers get yelled at for it, I'll be right there laughing at your ass too. She never did the dumb shit. I remember whenever uh whenever Mr. D catch you catch you lying about something. You say you perpetrating a fraud, perpetrating a fraud, sir. If you had little errors in your paper or whatever you turned in, he 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 take off five points off your shit, and you know five out of a hundred points. But them five points add up if he keep on subtracting the motherfuckers. Uh uh, minus five. Up, oh, you capitalize your name, sir. Minus five. Oh, that's a state. It's a city right here, sir. You ain't capitalize that. Minus five. Oh, you ain't put no commas. You ain't put no periods. Oh, that's a that's a that's a phrase. You supposed to put a quotation mark right there, sir. Minus a thousand. Like, wait, 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 wait. How are you gonna minus a thousand? Nigga, I thought it was only hundred points. You know what? Skip you. Y'all not finna f for me today. So, Mr. D, he uh, <laughs> he didn't really cuss. He just said the he just said the beginning letter of the cuss word. So, if you he pull you to the side, you know, he start punching in your chest. You start backing up. Say, what's wrong, sir? You effing up? You effing up? Don't be effing up, sir. So you know how sometimes... See, Mr. D didn't do a whole lot of yelling. So he uh, he pretty much let us know what it was. You feel me? I remember we 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 be uh, sitting in class and he be trying to explain something. And then it would be motherfuckers having their own little side conversations. And then one of the classmates would be like, don't y'all see Mr. D, don't y'all see Mr. D trying to teach? Don't y'all just shut up so he can teach. And then Mr. Dilla would just be like, no, 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 don't, don't say nothing. Because regardless, at the end of the day, I still get paid. Then you got Miss Smith. Shout out to Mr. Dilla, by the way. But uh, Miss Smith was our science teacher or so-called science teacher. Miss Smith was kind of like, a nosy lady. She was she was black, you know, heavy set lady. Uh, had no kids, wasn't married or none of that. But um, she pretty much was player hating on the Robo. You know, she told me one time. She was like, you know what? I, I like your braids. Your hair your hair looks nice, but even though I don't like I don't like boy I don't like guys with braids. You know, and I was like, well, at the time, I really didn't care but now that i think about it you know what i'm saying it's like lady i'm not here to impress you i mean i mean i you know i ain't here to disrespect you either but i'm not here to kiss your ass and i had to learn that later on like i needed to i a lot of people adults younger kids a lot of people needed to be checked that i didn't check you feel me so miss smith probably was one of those people that needed that that Alcorn, you know what I'm saying, check back in the day. Cause she, she used to spy on us, you know, she just used to hate on our whole upbringing basically. Like she see all of us grouped up with our girlfriends in eighth grade, she out the window taking pictures of us and shit from her classroom. And I still need them pictures one day, Miss Smith, if you listening, God damn it. If y'all out there and y'all friends with this lady or you, you see this lady, tell her to up them pictures cause Robbo is it has done something with his life unlike she expected she thought i was just you know walking around being the pretty boy and shit in school but uh no nah, lady i'm good at photography videography uh writing lyrics editing videos filming videos and i can type hella papers i know how to transfer emails I know how to scan documents. So yeah, I came a long way from just rapping and flirting with girls and Lee Ferguson. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna need those pictures one day. Uh, but yeah, Miss Smith, she was she was cool when she wanted to be. 
but I never got a, 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 a true a true under a true attachment to science just like history with Mr. Vaztec uh <laughs> Miss Smith didn't really make science interesting for me or for a lot of us it was more like we was there to really assist her with her personal life in her classroom so pretty much um uh, I didn't like her as a teacher you know because she she made her personality too much a part of her job and her personality was like you know she wasn't she wasn't happy with life in general or happy with her love life and she kind of was too opinionated about shit that had nothing to do with educating us basically every other teacher we had knew how to save their personal life for at home and put on a smile and try to be uplifting for the for the kids you know because we impressionable kids we teenagers we 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 we, we, we just became teenagers so it's like come on lady we don't want to hear that bullshit you know coming in with this negative this negative outlook on life and here we go we ain't even experienced life too much yet so but anyway shout out to miss smith we gonna we gonna need them damn pictures though but i know you done snapped a few with a robo when i have a ponytail hanging with the guys out there with my little black ass girlfriend with the with the bad breath but i'll talk about her later on but yeah shout out to uh miss smith Mr. Dillard, Mr. Baztec. Now, Mr. Baztec. Now he he used to play a hate on my rap shit, like my daddy. So I remember we we was an after school program, and my nigga Rashi Bailey, R. I. P. He was reading my my rap notebook, and uh, I remember Mr. Dillard was our instructor for after school. Man, I missed them days. Two lunches in one day, nigga. But um, I remember I'm letting this nigga read my rap notebook. He said right next to me, Mr. Bass that come in. He looking over Rashi's shoulder, looking at what he reading. And he see these rap lyrics. And he just swoop, picked the motherfucker up. And all of a sudden, my shit confiscated. I'm worried about getting in trouble. But nah, I ain't in trouble. Mr. Bass that just decided to read the shit. In front of our little, our little circle, you know, it wasn't a full class. You know, basically everybody that was in class was everybody that was in my, in my regular classes throughout the day. So, uh, at the time, you know, I'm listening to cats like Ludacris, Fifty Cent, Tupac. You know what I'm saying? JD Kids, Ja Rule. You know, Nelly, Jay Z, Snoop. So pretty much at age 14. I didn't have a message. I'm still writing raps about people. I'm still talking down on motherfuckers. Trying to build, build, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tear niggas down at this time. But uh, it was a whole lot of bitches and fuck yous and dicks and pussy and ass and bitch ass nigga and all that shit. And uh, pretty much that's what Mr. Bad said. He gonna read the shit out loud in front of Mr. Dillard. Like, oh, Robert has such a, yeah, such a strong vocabulary. Such a nice vocabulary. And that's when Mr. Dillard decided to pull me to the side instead of trying to, you know, get me in trouble. He was just telling me to watch out for these white folks, sir. You got to watch out because they want to—they don't want to see a young brother rise, sir. Up, oh, let me keep that between me and you, sir. Up, 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 zip, zip it up. But yeah, shout out to Mr. Bash Tech. He taught me the art of sarcasm. You feel me? Cause Lord knows, all my classmates in high school, they wasn't understanding Robo. Cause I just came off of this sarcastic ass two years of having Mr. Bash Tech for seventh and eighth grade. And as a homeroom teacher also. But yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to everybody else. Shout out to all my graduation class. You feel me? Shout out to all them fast ass seventh grade girls who was who was who was all on all the eighth grade. Well, not all the eighth grade guys. Pretty much the circle of guys I was hanging with. You dig? But I'll talk about all that shit later too. So this be part two 
<laughs> the continuation. Lee Ferrickson. CPS. And pretty much I'm going to cover probably... Uh, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm, I'll probably cover some of the high school teachers, but some of my high school teachers, they weren't as funny as uh, grammar school, and uh, I kind of expand on the funny ones on my um, shop polar disorder, the skits on YouTube, y'all can check that out, you know, on my Alcorn Inc. YouTube channel, and uh, peace out, peace and love.